go. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Just for Kids activity. This week we're going to make a snowstorm in a jar. Here I have everything you should have received in your kits. We've got some baby oil, we've got a glass jar, we've got some white acrylic paint, yours is in a smaller container, I've got some fake snow, but I sent you guys some glitter. We've got some Elka Seltzer tabs. I've also sent a plastic cup. Yours, of course, doesn't have the water. And then we're also going to need a spoon. So once you've got all of those things, we're going to get started. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way so that you're able to see everything first thing we need to do is open up our jar. Now we're going to add our baby oil. We're actually going to add the whole bottle of baby oil into the jar. Your baby oil should have a little cover, so we need to remove that of course, and then go ahead and very carefully pour your baby oil into your jar. Baby oil smells fantastic. It reminds me of when my kids were young. So we've got the whole bottle of baby oil in our jar. Now we've got some other stuff we need to take care of. So in this cup, I've got some warm water. You're only going to want to use about a quarter cup of warm water. So we're going to add in some of this white acrylic paint. You don't need much, I'm adding in a lot, just so that you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. But again, you don't need too, too much. When you add the paint in, what does it do in your cup? Take a minute to take a look. Hmm, what do you notice here? After you've had some time to investigate, Go ahead and stir your mixture together. The white paint should now make this water nice and white. It almost looks like milk. Don't drink it and be really careful with acrylic paint because it will stain. Once you've got it mixed up well, go ahead and pour your quarter cup of warm milky white water into the baby oil mixture. Again, what do you see happening? Take a good look. Now go ahead and add in some glitter. I'm experimenting with this fake snow. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work, but I know the glitter definitely does, so that's why I sent you the glitter. Once you've got your glitter added in, it's time to start crushing up the Elka Seltzer. So in each package, there's actually two different Elka Seltzer tablets. We're just breaking it up. I'm using my thumbs. We just want to break it up into smaller pieces. Once you've got it broken up, have somebody help tear the package open. Take out a couple of pieces. This is a great size. And then you're going to get ready to drop it in. I feel like that might not be enough, so I'm actually going to put all three pieces in together. But I'm going to stop the video here because I don't want to ruin the surprise. When you're ready, add in your three tablets or your pieces and watch and see what happens. Each time you add the Elka Seltzer pieces, the snowstorm will last about 45 seconds. Depending on the size of your jar, which we all have the same size jar, some of the white paint will end up covering the sides of the jar as it falls back down to the bottom. And that's why it looks a little cloudy. As far as I can tell, you can keep adding more and more Elka Seltzer to your jar and redo this experiment over and over again. If you run out of water, you can just add more. After you've done it once, 
you might want to wait about five minutes for the oil to clear up and for the paint to settle to the bottom again, but that's totally optional. You can still see enough bubbles to just keep going and going. When you're done with your little jar, simply put the lid back on and store it away for another day because you can keep using it over and over and over again. Now, when it comes to the science behind this activity, there's a lot of cool stuff that's happening and going on here. For starters, the water is more dense than the oil, so it sinks through the oil and sits at the bottom. Also, the oil and water are unmixable, so they will always separate back into separate layers. The acrylic paint is water-based, so it will mix with the water to make that white milky water we have. If you used oil-based paint, for example, the oil paint would mix with the baby oil and make the oil itself blue. On a side note, Food coloring is also water-based, so if you add food coloring to your jar, it'll still mix with the water and it will make your bubbles blue. Now for the Alka-Seltzer. The Alka-Seltzer has sodium bicarbonate, which is really just a fancy way of saying baking soda, and citric acid in it. When those mix with water, they form bubbles of carbon dioxide, which rise up to the surface through the oil. When the carbon dioxide is released into the air, the remaining water falls back down through the oil. Why? Well, because water is more dense than oil. The carbon dioxide carries some of the water and paint mixture up with it. Since the oil and water are unmixable, these bubbles are easy to see in the oil. If we were doing this experiment without any oil at all, We'd basically just have a fizzing jar, and we wouldn't be able to see those awesome little bubbles rising up and falling down again. The snowstorm in a jar is such an awesome winter science experiment because it uses simple materials and it's a great way to learn about weather, density, and other cool science topics. If today's activity has sparked any other questions or wonders or curiosities in your home, please feel free to let us know so that we can help continue to explore and experiment all of those fantastic ideas. We'll see you again next time. Ona! Oh,